Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, so I got another message today. Um, I'm going to get right to it. Um, I claim that Jesus Christ came to earth as a man in the flesh and died on the cross and rose three days later. All right, this message is for April 1st, 2023. Colossians 2.11. In him you were also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands by putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ. Philippians 1 7 just as it is right for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart and as much as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel you all are partakers with me of grace John 3 7 do not marvel that I said to you you must be born again first Peter 2 4 <clears throat> coming to him as to a living stone rejected indeed by men but chosen by God and precious Ezra 111, all the articles of gold and silver were 5,400. All the Shesabar took with the captives who were brought from Babylon to Jerusalem. Esther 6, 5, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the king's servant said to him, Haman is there standing in the court. And the king said, let him come in. Jude 1, 4, for certain men have crept in unnoticed who long ago were marked out for this condemnation, ungodly men who turn the grace of our God into lewdness and deny the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. Job 2, 3, then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man who want, one who fears God and shuns evil and still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without cause. Okay, here's the message. Ships, my child, ships are going to surround our borders. They have been testing the waters. Don't be fooled. They have designed everything to keep you looking away from me. They are callous and rude and their demeanor disgusts me. Do you know what happens after the ships? War breaks out, chaos and destruction, and it's all coming. Some of you are still cons consisting. Nothing is happening all around you. Some of you just resist my existence. Oh, wake up, O oh sleeper, I am coming, and if you are not awake, you will miss my arrival. It's going to come like a thief in the night, and peace and safety will be called, and destruction will come upon the whole world. My words are prophesied in part, and my chosen ones are relaying my messages. My chosen ones are spreading the gospel. My chosen ones are offering care to their neighbor. They are praying for their neighbor. They love their neighbor. My chosen ones truly love me. They look up and they are anticipating my arrival. They are excited for my arrival. Oh, how I love them. You can be chosen. Just believe and trust in me. Give me your heart and I will save you. Navy ships will make their way to the coast. Obama has ordered more destruction and chaos and derailments. Massachusetts flooding will shut down the metro system. Burning in Colorado and protests for gay rights. Oh, children, this world is over. My patience is over. Ridiculing and scoffing no more. Your fate has been sealed. The ones you know who you are. Your hearts are hardened and you will never come to me. Unfortunately, destruction is what you seek and the only thing you will receive. I gave you chance after chance to repent and come to me, but instead you mock your neighbor and you scoff at my anointed ones. There are many speaking in my name, but not all are from me. Do they share the good news and tell you to repent and believe in me? Or do they only speak my wrath? I am gentle, I am kind, and I am loving. I wish for not one to perish. I come back like a lion and my wrath will come upon this earth. But my love and truth of the gospel, uh, the truth that I died for you will be preached to all nations. If they don't confess the love I have for my children and repentance, they are not of me. If they don't claim that I died for them and shed my blood on a cross for them and rose on the third day, they are not of me. Oh, how Satan is whispering in so many ears. He knows his time is short and he will stop at nothing to bring bring division and confusion. I am the truth, the way, the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Chicago runaway bus crashes into pole, creating electricity outages. At least 30,000 people without power. Will the news report the truth? 
Seek outside reports from mainstream. Nothing is true when it is ran by Satan. The Luciferian clan will hold on to their own truth and publicly display their lies. Did you see the halo around the moon? <clears throat> Excuse me. You will keep seeing it. It lets you know my coming is near. My redemption is nigh. I will rescue my people. They have endured to the end by trusting in me. I will keep them from the hour of trial. I have coming on the whole world. When my spirit is removed, you will have to seek protection under the swords and die for my glory. Oh, you wicked heathen, don't deny the love I have for my children. I wish for not one to perish. My warnings are final. I'm trying to save you. Will you let me save you? Or will you deny the only God who has never left you? 1 Corinthians 3.10 According to the grace of God, which is given to me as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation and another builds on it. But let each one take heed how he builds on it. Malachi 1.6 As son honors his father and a servant his master. If then I am the father, where is my honor? And if I am a master, where is my reverence? Says the Lord of hosts to you priests who despise my name. Yet you say, in what way have we despised your name? <clears throat> okay, here's another message. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Mordecai would stop at nothing to defend my honor. Esther found favor from the king. Will you find favor from me, or will you bow down to other gods? Oh, you reckless, insidious child, you don't recognize the love from the Father. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. My Jews, my rebellious ones, you still slaughter the lamb on the altar, but I am the true lamb died and reborn, so you may have everlasting fellowship and a new covenant of eternal life. And I rose from the, the grave to save you. I rose from the dead to save you. So why do you reject me, and why can you... Only see my wrath coming. I am your Jehovah. I am your Prince of Peace. Why do you deny me, children? Louisiana and L.A. are not the only places that will be gone. Texas, New Hampshire, and Colorado will burn up. Missiles will do most of the damage. Then my wrath will finish the rest. Yellowstone will kill a third of mankind, and the rest will be ordered to their zones, forced to face the rest of mankind's anarchy existence. <clears throat> After they have rallied the rest into the remaining states with least destruction, pandemic will hit hard, where they will be forcing a new VAX card, the patent number 060606. They will tell you it's for your own safety, but it's really to erase the DNA I created to make you a part of their beast system. Freedom of religion over. The ones who denounce their faith and agree to believe in their false god will line up to take the V and the cards with your identification will be inserted in the palm of your hand. It will have all your medical history and your status and your number ranked in your zone. And you won't be able to buy or sell anywhere unless you are a part of their system. The ones who refuse the mark will start a revolution and witness and preach my gospel. They will gather other believers hiding out and the witnesses will have supernatural powers where the spirit of e with the spirit of Elijah and Enoch. Heaven will rain down the fire. They will only be defeated by Satan and they and then I will call them up. It's coming, children. Keep your oil lamps lit. The battle has started and this is just the beginning. Look up. You will see me in the clouds soon. Jeremiah 111. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. Malachi 3.9. You are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me even this whole nation first corinthians 2 7 but we speak the wisdom of god and a mystery the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the ages for our glory philippians 3 4 though i also might have confidence in the flesh if anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh i more so revelation 11 5 and if anyone wants to harm them fire proceeds from their mouth and devours their enemies and if anyone wants to harm them he must be killed in this manner Joel 1 5 awake you drunkards and weep and well all you drinkers of wine because of the new wine for it has been cut off from your mouth Habakkuk 3 2 <clears throat> O Lord I have heard your speech and I was afraid O Lord revive your work in the midst of the years in the midst of the years make it known in wrath remember mercy Colossians 1 5 because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel first Peter 1 7 that the genuineness of your faith being much more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested by fire may be found to praise honor and glory at the revelation of Jesus Christ 
1 Thessalonians 2, 5. For neither at any time do we use flattering words, as you know, nor a cloak for covetousness. God is witness. Guys, repent from your sins and call on Jesus. He loves you.